20 years in the making, the anticipation for the wicked big screen musical led to tension in some theaters. Hey ladies, remember this is not a sing along. This is just a reminder that we are not singing. And some girls decided they wanted to talk right in the middle of defying gravity. In the States, some chains even posted warnings but songs are just part of the problem. I really want to enjoy it and savor it. And I have found that people- This writer says movie theater behavior is bottoming out. They're texting the entire time. They are talking and texting. They are showing each other funny memes on their phone with their screen lit up to the fullest. Uh, during, during the film? During the film. Not, not in the previews? No. And why can't we just have one moment where we're not on our phones? <laughs> like, please, for the love of God. When filmmaker Chandler Levac needs to take a break from editing, cinema is her refuge. But it's changed. It's starting to feel like people are, theaters are kind of becoming more like living rooms. At Canada's largest movie chain, they're offering wicked sing-along screenings. But when it comes to phones, they won't stop fans from sharing their joy. As long as they're not sharing plot points or recording the movie overall, it's not piracy. It is uh, letting people know that I have seen this, I like this. That's cool. That worries filmmakers who see one of their few sources of revenue under attack. When you're like recording the screen and leaking things online and doing spoiler alerts and posting them to Twitter, like you're actually hurting the film's chance of um, being able to have a like a, a real chance at, at succeeding theatrically. But don't expect ushers to be enforcing better behavior. We do our best to make sure that every person who goes to see an experience has the experience they want to have. You also don't want a policeman off by the door side who thinks something is going on and comes over and silences you because they think you're being interrupted. In the meantime, the movie chain is bringing back pre-show reminders, hoping audiences can relearn the art of enjoying movies together. Quietly. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.